That's like a really good way to be totally awkward. Anyhow, today I wanted to show you some ways that I'm kind of preparing or transitioning to winter. So I live in Melbourne, Australia, and it's winter here. I'm pretty sure. I never know if it's autumn or winter. But basically where I live, we never really have like, it's winter and we have 10 foot of snow and it's spring and we have the birds putting ribbons in our hair situation. Like I keep all my clothes for the whole year in my cupboard and stuff like that. And I guess when it's winter, it rains more and everything starts getting gross on the ground and stuff like that. So anyhow, today I'm thinking, ooh, it's gonna be really cold and wintry all day. And now the sun is shining and it legit feels spring, summer. So that's Melbourne for you. You know, that's just the way it is. Because it's currently 20 degrees Celsius. So anyhow, I'm still gonna do my winter prep. So I will travel along with you today, showing you some different ways that I prepare for winter. Like everything else, I try to just make it simple in my life because I'm just a simple kind of girl. But yeah, so if this is the first time you have seen one of my videos, hello. And I live with my husband and 10 children in not a huge house, not a mansion. And that's my story and I'm sticking to it. So I'm going to do different things today, take you along, and hopefully it inspires you, whatever season you're going into, to kind of prepare a bit for it. So... I'm doing one now for winter. Hopefully, if my YouTube channel and myself still alive in the next change of seasons, I will do a video of what I do then. And I I don't know why I have pointing down hands, but anyhow. So first step is, I'm not sure, but one of my children did tell me that there was a dead rat on our front lawn. Yeah, I'd say that shouldn't be on the lawn. That is like Clooney the Scourge from the Red Wall books, isn't it? That is nasty. So I'm outside now because there's different things in the yard that I want to clean up and pack away and sort out without making it this big huge undertaking of let's blitz the whole place. This is how I keep my home tidy is kind of like preempting things so like being ahead of them and also And also through like regular small steps towards simplifying and keeping things good. With that said, I have like all these dying and, and spent, do we say spent, when we garden plants. So I think I'm just going to rip them out. Yeah. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to rip them out and going to pack away stuff and start getting this place winterized. So as the leaves fall behind me, <laughs> I'm going to rip out the tomato plants and um, it's better to ask for forgiveness than permission. So I guess I'll pick all the green tomatoes and let them whatever they do on the windowsill. And then we've got two not very big pumpkins 
that I will pick. But then do I rip out the whole plant and everything? That seems a bit extreme. I'm not a gardener, can you tell? <laughs> and then finally, I'm gonna get rid of this zucchini. Zucchini is done. And very excitedly, I don't know if you can see, but my bees finally found my backyard, which is very exciting because it took a while for the ladies to realize that there was stuff in the back and not just in the front. Got the sheets drying so I can put my winter stuff on my bed and kids are living their best life. And yeah. I have no idea what I'm doing, but I'm ripping out the tomato plants and yeah, and I already snapped one of the uh, steak things, so hopefully I don't snap these other two.
if I didn't really think about simple living a lot and how to not be wasteful and how to you know I guess extend the life of what I have is maintenance so I have these clips here in my hand and various other things and some of the clips are broken so I've got to fix them and I've also gone around the yard and different little things that kids can find like the spout part of the watering can and the small watering can these things can get wrecked as well when they just when they just ditch them on the ground and someone steps on them and all the rest of it so it's sort of like another step in the preventing of wrecking stuff I don't know I think you know what I mean but so I gotta fix these and then move on to the next thing and thankfully I do have one of these clip things for the tomato plants that isn't broken ta-da so or oh, is that broken no nah. so I can then fix the broken ones and they'll be ready to go for when I need them again for whatever people who know about gardening tell tell me I need to oh my goodness trellis yeah so my gardening friends can say hey Catherine this needs to go in a trellis and then I'll put it in a is it a trellis this needs a clip this is what happens when I try to like talk and do things at the same time what hey one <laughs> that took a while just for my brain to work out the like orientation of it found another clip so one two three four five six seven this one's just a little bit askew this one's fine thank goodness there was only two that were actually taken apart and then one or two that were askew this is where you can just see <laughs> how super professional I am the second one's got to be quicker isn't that the rule take half an hour to f figure out the first one and then the second one's like five seconds I think so I worked it out now where do I want to put these in here where then the new season comes I will find them that's the question I need to ask myself and find the answer from myself no idea with my seed packets <laughs> Thank you.
Thanks.